Luke and Nate here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and we're celebrating 100,000 subscribers. And to do that, we're taking these aluminum foil balls and melting them down and making silver play button belt buckles. And we want you guys to celebrate too. So at the end of this video, we're gonna be giving away one of these silver play button belt buckles and belts to one of you guys. You excited, Nate? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. What's our motto here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel? We don't know what we're doing, but we're excited to do it. I am gonna be casting some aluminum to make belt buckles for me and the boys, and I have never done this before. First, I've got to make uh, a little box to hold all my forming sand, and I need to make a wooden replica of the belt buckle I wanna make. So we're gonna get started with that. Not looking too shabby, huh? Well, I'm losing my sunlight, so I'm gonna let this dry and pick this up tomorrow morning. Well guys, it's another beautiful day and I am ready to get going. This has dried up very nicely and in case you're wondering, I painted it to try to smooth it out and to mask the grain pattern. I didn't want the grain pattern transferring to the aluminum. I've got a bunch of aluminum left over from my tinfoil ball videos, but I'm not quite sure it's going to be enough to make belt buckles for all of us. So, I've also got this piece of aluminum stock that I'm not using that I'm going to chop up, shove it in the crucible as well and cross our fingers, that should be enough. Little bit soft. I think we need to compact that a little bit more. That didn't work so well. Oh, that's about as good as I've done so far. I sprayed this with WD-40, that seemed to help. All right, we finally got it. I think we can actually go ahead and try this one. All right, so this is all the aluminum I have and uh, we're gonna just start chucking it in there and seeing what we can melt. That seems like a bit. And that, let's start off with that and see how that goes. That looks pretty darn good. I'm pretty pleased with that. Haha, <laughs> nailed it. That was a lot easier, but you notice I've got a little bit of sand that's fallen in there. Just take a can of compressed air, just gently Blow that sucker out. There we go. Oh, 
Well, this one's not too bad, but it's way too thick, and it's got all this blackened uh, sand around it. I think, uh, I think I can do better. That's awesome. Yeah, that one turned out really good. Nice and smooth, good crisp detail, not too thick. Well, now I'm gonna go to the hardware store and see if I can find some screws, some little brass screws that'll allow me to put this belt buckle hardware on the back of my silver play buttons. All right, guys, I went to the hardware store and picked up some more aluminum, so I'm gonna cast some more belt buckles here, but I'm also got some brass screws, some teeny little guys, to attach the hardware to screw it to the back of the belt, the buckles. But I was thinking about it, I might be doing this the hard way. So I'm also gonna take a piece of this 3 16 inch steel and bend it, make my own hardware, which I might be able to insert into the molten aluminum when I cast it. So we're gonna try a couple different ways to make these buckles and see what happens. And hopefully, if it works, I'll have an extra one or two to give away to you guys as a giveaway. Not too thick, got the hardware already installed. Not bad at all. That worked out real well. That thing is thick, it's like a bar of soap. That's cool looking though. So what do you think babe? You know, it's really cool looking and it's it's heavier than I would think aluminum would be. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good chunk of aluminum. It's, yeah. it's pretty good big and it's got some steel in it. Pretty heavy, nice. Like work. it though? Yeah, it's cool, I like it. Well, there we go. Looks pretty good, but uh, you can see this kind of off color right there and there. That's the steel resting on the bottom, so uh, that's gonna cause a little problems, but it looks pretty cool still. All right, guys, well, I've got eight play buttons here. Three of them already have the hardware in them. Two, I'm gonna put hardware in them, and the other three, well, um, I'm gonna do something with them, but uh, I'm running out of daylight here. I'll pick this up again in a little bit. Well, it's another beautiful day and I have a few minutes, so I'm gonna to try to get the hardware mounted on the back of these belt buckles. And a few of them I've noticed are just really unpleasantly thick. I mean, a belt buckle shouldn't be like a bar of soap strapped to your waist. So I think uh, I might take the angle grinder and really try to remove a lot of metal off the back of a few of these. And we shall see what happens. Oh, there we go. Got a lot thinner. What? Well, I've been trying repeatedly to put these screws into the aluminum and you've got to get the pilot hole just right. 
Otherwise, it puts too much pressure on the screws and breaks them right in half. I broke four screws in half trying to get this right. But I think I finally got it dialed down and we're gonna give it another go. All right, I've got the belt buckles done. I've got the harness leather. Now let's make some belts. Look at that, there we go. Silver play button belt buckle. Nice. It's beautiful. Which belt buckle do you want, Tom? You want this one? Which one do you want, Nathan? Oh, you want that one? That's a cool one. We need to make belts to go with your belt buckles. So this one's gonna be Tommy, so hold your arms up in the air. Watch your hands, watch your hands. That puts it about like Dar. Well, it ain't pretty, but there it is, Outdoor Boys. Well, look at that, there we go. You got a bunch of awesome belts here for the Outdoor Boys, and a few extra to give away as prizes. So, I am really super happy with how these turned out. Should we go try them on? Well, guys, do you like your belts? Yeah, we're yeah. cowboys. Yeah, you're cowboys. Well, you look great. What yes. are you doing there, Nathan? Now the person who deserves one of these silver play buttons more than any of us is Mama. Aww. Hey, there you go. Take a look at that. One's for you. Thank you. Hey, look at the back. Oh. Well, it is late, and I've got to get these cowboys to bed. And I am still going to show you guys how you can win some of these belt buckles. We're going to be doing an awesome giveaway. Hey, I'm wearing the boast, the kind of boast that you have, Daddy. Yeah. This is a, it's a manly belt. <laughs> that is actually really cool looking. Uh huh. You like that, buddy? Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go to preschool. You're ready to go to preschool. Heck yeah. Hey, Nathan, what you got there? A belt. Oh, let me see your belt there. It's a happy oh, belt. Oh, yeah. It's a happy belt. Yeah, that's a pretty slick belt, buddy. All right, guys, I told you that I was going to give away this belt buckle and belt, and I'm going to do just that. If you want to win this aluminum belt buckle made from our first aluminum foil ball, all you have to do is these three things. One, make sure you're subscribed. Only subscribers can win, so click subscribe, folks. Two, leave a comment telling me your favorite type of Outdoor Boys video, uh, whether it's camping, survival, forging, goofing around with Tommy and Nate, uh, vlogs. Tell me what your favorite type of video is. And three, make sure you share this video on any social media platform, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. So if you do those three things, you'll be entered to win, and I'll announce the winner one week from today in my next video. So good luck to everybody. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and we hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check some of our awesome video playlists. Go ahead, subscribe, mail that. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more great videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every week. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll get notified when we put out another great video.